make it. Yeah? <laughs> so now, I'm really trying. I'm trying my best. <laughs> I'm trying my best. <laughs> he says, I'm trying my best. I don't want to rush, but let me try and rush. <clears throat> he says, when he gave them these elements and this worship, look, he says, <laughs> let me fast forward. These elements of worship, you see that when, he, he, when Moses was sent to restore the faithful worship of God, and Moses executed everything very faithfully, Ay, that servant of God, he, he did everything faithfully. When he did that, and he gave them the worship, they became too familiar. But the works of Moses did not fail. The worship that the Lord gave Moses never failed. The people that were given the worship, they failed. But the worship did not fail. Ah, are you kidding? The worship that the Lord gave Moses to pass on to the Egyptian, I mean, not the Egyptian, the Israelites, or should I say, the Israelites who were born in Egypt. <laughs> The, Egypt, the, the Israelites, actually, uh, and then it was passed on to those that were born in the wilderness. The worship that the Lord gave Moses to give to the Israelites did not fail. It never failed. It has not failed. As far as it has to do with the purpose for which it was sent. Now we know that the Lord did not deal with the Israelites. Now it says, it says for, what, for that which the Lord could not do in that it was weak through the flesh. Eh? God did by sending his son in the likeness of sinful flesh. Condemning sin in the likeness of sin. Eh? And condemning sin in the flesh. That the righteousness of that the righteous requirement of the law may be fulfilled in us who walk not according to the what? To the flesh, but according to the what? To the, to, to the, to the, to the spirit. He did not fail. The righteousness that the worship trumpeted, the righteousness that the worship was supposed to accomplish, never failed to the extent that when Christ the Messiah finally came to the culmination of the restoration of this worship eh? although the, 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 the grand the grand culmination is still coming uh, the, the wedding supper of the Lamb but look at this, when Christ came the culmination of the restoration the Lord came and he executed the same the same instruction that Moses was given. The high priest, he, he, he came as that high priest. The Lamb of God, he came as that Lamb of God. The blood, he brought that blood. The Ark of God's covenant, he brought it. The Lord, he says, he is the perfect image of God, the perfect radiant, the perfect image of, of the, the perfect image of, the, of, of, of God's glory. Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. The garments of worship, he brought them. Mark chapter 9, he brought them. Everything, he brought it. He brought everything, and when he brought it, look at this now. He says, to restore just like it was in the beginning. <laughs> the, the, the tabernacle, he came as that tabernacle. But now look at this. He came to transform us into that tabernacle. Uh, I'm really going very fast. He, he came to transform us into that tabernacle and then to make us, to transform us into the priests that are supposed to be, that, that, that he told Moses to worship in the, in the tabernacle. Hallelujah. The, the priests whose inheritance, whose portion was the Lord, is the Lord. Eh? <clears throat> so he came to transform us into that priesthood, that holy priesthood, that royal priesthood, but look at this now. Look at this. Now, he came to make us into that tabernacle so that just as Adam inhabited the glory of the Lord, so too we would. But now he said, look, the pattern is the tabernacle of God in heaven. Ah, I will not finish. <laughs> not today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> no, not today. I'm trying to go fast, but I cannot. <laughs> because... Because I may even jump some things, you may, and you may not even understand very well. But, but, <clears throat> but I'm, I'm really, I, I really try. But maybe next time, by, by the Lord's grace, we, 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 we'll be able to continue. But so you can see that He came to transform us. In fact, to so so restoring us into that original worship. He says, He says, this worship 
that Adam executed. This image that Adam bore, eh, that he was bearing, this image essentially is the image of God. Essentially, it, 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 constitutes, it constitutes the tabernacle of God. <laughs> the, ta- the holy tabernacle of God. The holy temple of God. And he says, whose temple you are. He says, do you know ye not? He says, know ye not that, that, that you are not your own? Know ye not that your body is at the temple of the Holy Spirit? And you are not your own? Hallelujah. I, 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 I think I should end there, yeah? <laughs> but, but the Lord is good. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. And, uh, and today the, 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 the mighty prophet shared a very, very powerful revelation on, uh, on Revelation chapter 13. So I encourage you to listen to that prophecy and the, and the, and the deeper revelation there. Time is running out. And the beautiful thing is, we are going home soon. As long as we keep our eyes on that worship, that's the secret now. He says, as for those that, 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 that care about righteousness and holiness, he's talking about that, that original worship. He says, for those that care, you just keep your eyes fixed on this heavenly worship. So that when he comes, there will be no question as to where you are standing. Hallelujah. And so, you will not be lukewarm unto him or confusing. So that, because in that worship, he said, in that worship, it is characterized by fine linen, bright and green. He says, without spot, without wrinkle. Bright and clean, without spot, without wrinkle. Hallelujah. He says, so that when he comes to take that church, we will be that church. We will be that, that tabernacle. We will be that holy tabernacle. Hallelujah. That holy people, that the Lord Lord Jehovah delights in. So, Father, we thank you. We thank you that even today, Lord, you have been speaking to your church very tremendously. We thank you for the mightiest prophet of the Lord that you have uh, used to speak to us today uh, to give us a deeper revelation on the, 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 the beast the beast out of the water, the beast out of the land, and, 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 and the dragon. Father, we thank you that you are cautioning us, you are warning us that we may prepare with, 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 with urgency. Father, help us, O oh Lord, to be serious with our worship, to be serious, O oh Lord, in observing this eternal worship, this worship that cannot fail, will never fail, has never failed. Hallelujah. That we may make it into that kingdom. That we, O oh Lord, may make it onto that table. Father, we want to sit at the table with the Lord Jesus and sup with him. And Lord, have mercy on us. Forgive us. Forgive our sins, O oh Lord. Father, we bring our repentance before you. Father, we do not deserve your kindness. We do not even deserve that the Lord Jesus Christ would come and die for us. But Lord, you have loved us so much. Lord, help us. Help us, O oh Lord. Help us to be zealous for your work, to be zealous for your righteousness, to be zealous for your holiness. Just as Jesus was very zealous in saving us, in dying for us, in rescuing us, in saving us, and in setting us apart as his own. So help us, O Lord, that we may prepare, that we may have a singular focus on heaven, that we may never, never, ever be disturbed or turned away from your worship. Father, that the devil, whatever he tries, Lord, we will not give in to sexual sin. We will not give in to false worship. We will not give in to false apostles or false pr- prophecies. We, Father, we will keep our eyes fixed on you and listen to your voice, Father, and observe a holy worship. Help us, O oh Lord, to observe a holy worship that our eyes may not be, that our vision may not be blurred, that we may not be disturbed to look either to the left or to the right but that we may keep our eyes fixed on you, that our eyes will be fixed on you until we enter into that kingdom of light, that glorious kingdom of light. In the mightiest name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus.